What's up guys, Toko here, and today uh, I'm going to be going to show you guys how to do all the Guardian of the World stuff. That's by far the most requested uh, comment or question, anything related to the Guardian of the World or post-game in general. It's definitely the most requested uh, requested thing I've ever had in my comment section uh, as of late. Uh, and I'd also like to thank you guys for giving me like 200 subscribers. I know I haven't uploaded in a long time, so I'd just like to thank you guys for that. Uh, but without further ado, I'm just going to get into it. So, you to be able to do the Guardian of the World, so it's post-game stuff. It's a post-game final boss. So, once you have defeated the White Witch, and the other condition is, you have to have completed every single task in the game. And what I mean by that is every task you can get in the by Swift Solutions, you have to complete every quest and every bounty hunt. So... Like Mr. Hat over here, this guy, uh, the these guys that go throughout every town and stuff, like all of them, including every number of tasks. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go over and show you guys at Swift Solutions all the tasks and stuff. So, uh, you have to complete every other task in the game for the uh, to be able to do this. So, once you get past the White Witch and all that, uh, in Peridia, which we'll go to after this. Uh, there will be a pink bunny just kind of chilling, uh, guarding me as my marshes, which is also how you get past him is completing all the uh, tasks and stuff. So to get back into my as my marshes, uh, post game you have to do all the tasks. So, Mr. Guy over here, if you guys just never bothered with any of the side quests, which some of them are very annoying, yes, but um, you gotta you gotta do them to be able to do the post game stuff. So if you go over to claim merit awards, all these merit awards are actually very very damn useful uh you probably want to do side quests just for these alone so i mean there's like the thing that jumping jack like that's pretty damn useless but like there's a lot of things that make you run faster your boat go faster your dragon can like you press circle and your dragon will like spin and shit and there's all kinds of like and the uh, the best one by far though i think is the jack of hearts so you get it's it increases your chances of catching familiars so things like tokos and stuff won't take quite as long to get but there's also a uh, ton of other like really good ass things like spells and shit so you guys can just look over those on your own i'm not here to tell you guys to get merit awards i'm here to show you guys so once you just go through the game and this errand board right here it'll slowly fill up uh with errands and like everything on this board will say like needed to do like underway new whatever but once you've completed all of them uh, you don't have to complete every task technically, because some of the tasks are post-game things to do with this, so you don't actually have to complete those, but most of these you're going to have to complete, uh, to be able to actually do it. So how you'll know whenever you do, whenever you've completed enough tasks, is when you go to Peridia, my fault about the noise, uh, so once you go to Peridia, post-game, after you defeat the White Witch, there will be a, uh, a pink bunny just showing here guarding the uh, entrance to my as my marshes which you cannot fast travel or anything to so you kind of have to uh move him out of the way to be able to go back here post game which golden doc tokos do spawn over there so it's kind of cool post game mind you but uh yeah so like right here there will be a pink bunny with a hat just showing uh he will not let you pass you will not be able to go through and so you've completed enough tasks to uh you know like make him happy and shit and then after you complete all those tasks that you need to to be able to do that which might take you a while mind you uh it takes probably almost a full day of play like if you've done none of them and you want to go back and go through and do all of the side quests it'll probably take you like about a full day of playing maybe longer if you don't know exactly what you're doing but uh once you've completed all the tasks and stuff over here This little cave will open up. After he's left Peridia, the cave will open up right here, and you'll be able to walk through. And this is going to lead you guys to the. Um, this will lead you guys to the forest where you get to be able to finally take the real tasks that he asks you to do, and actually do them. So he will give you tasks to defeat a second version of pretty much every boss in the game. So like the Guardian of the Woods, all the way up to the White Witch, pretty much. So you have to f go back to each location, to each boss room, and pretty much fight another boss. The uh, White Witch one spawns an Arrow Murray, but the rest of them spawn generally where the ones did before. So he'll be right here, 
and he'll assign you like a couple at a time like you have to go to like a first set of them first so you pretty much gotta go defeat like actually i can pull them up in this creature competitive sorry if this video is all over the place i don't have a script or anything to go by so uh just bear with me here so the second versions of all them will be like so this is the second version of the guardian of the woods the fear of the forest so you'll you'll find him as like a little black orb they get to fight back where the guardian of the world spawn same thing in the second version of him him there's no second version of nightmares uh there's a Bashura. well all pretty much pretty much everybody like you know like not a second version of him uh the jelly has one uh and they're significantly stronger by the way uh these are not easy bosses to beat in the slightest if you're not like op and if you have the glance that my familiars at all during this video uh they are not the best in the game uh, you can look back on one of my older tutorials for that, or wait for the future one that will be even better when it comes out. But yeah, I'm just showing you guys all the bosses. There's a vile heart uh, that you also have to fight. Uh, vile heart, I think this is the one. Uh, and then there's another one of these guys as the Shadar one that you have to fight. You don't have to fight a second version of Shadar, just that guy. But uh, and then these are just ones that you've already fought. But minus this one, you have to fight this one. But uh, here's the Guardian of the Worlds himself. Uh, spoilers, obviously, but you're watching tutorials, so spoilers anyway. So there's two versions of him. So the one, this is the second one, and this one's significantly stronger than the first time you fight him. So the first time you fight him, uh, he's just he's a little bit weaker. But when you go back to fight him, this one is much, much, much stronger than the first one, like by far, like pretty much double. But uh, it's easy enough if you know what you're doing. So, the Garden of the Worlds himself uh, is a pretty pretty damn strong boss. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys. Uh, I'm actually going to go uh, fight him in the next video. So, if you guys want to see me, see what, if you want a tutorial on how to actually beat him, if you have trouble with it, uh, go ahead and uh, go to my channel. And I'm sure it'll be up by the time you see this, hopefully. Maybe unless you click on it immediately. But uh, you should, I should have a video up pretty soon on uh, actually fighting him. And what familiars to use, and what not to do, and what to do. But, um, so, you pretty much just fight every little, like, he'll give you a quest, and it'll be stars and everything. It's super easy. You just, I mean, the bosses aren't that easy, but you just go through, just fight all the bosses, you know. Just do the thing. Uh, they're in every location, as everywhere, where all the boss rooms were. All the same, all the same locations, except the White Witch one spawns in Era Marie. So you just go to Era Marie, and it'll be right there where you did the flower thing. Uh, like, summoning the White Witch's tower, basically. But, um, and then, uh, of course, after this, uh, there's a little reward for actually doing this. So, minus the good drops that you get for, uh, actually killing Mr. Uh, Guardian of the Worlds, which could be any, th any, pretty much any of the rare, uh, you get any of the rare alchemy ingredients, like Skulls of Truth and stuff. Uh, it's random, but, uh, yeah. But after that, after you do that, uh, you'll actually better go get the film mobile. Uh, after you beat the Garden of the Worlds, it'll take you back to Ding Dong Do, but I won't spoil any of that for you guys. So, uh, and then you'll basically, you'll be able to go get the film mobile. Uh, and then you can just kind of drive it around, it doesn't really, it's kind of just a novelty, it doesn't really much use to it at this point in the game, but, uh, yeah, so, just to recap, uh, do every side quest in the game, kind of annoying, I know, and then, uh, after that, just go fight all the bosses that he asks you to fight, and then you get to fight the Garden of the Worlds, it's pretty simple to be honest there's, there's not much too much to it but uh yeah definitely uh sorry for not having a script or anything set up i don't know i'm just making the video because i felt like it but um if you guys did enjoy or find this helpful or go back go try and do what i said and then find it helpful if you would come back or right now just leave a like and sub i'd really appreciate it uh i make a decent amount of content uh and when i do make the content it's a pretty informative video and it's not really like i don't know Pretty informative video. I have tons and tons of other tutorials on my channel if you'd like to check them out. Uh, there's one on like Gold Trotter Trophy, hardest, pretty much hardest trophy, uh, like just just all kinds of stuff. Chocolate Guide, you know, like everything. Like, come on now. And if you have any other questions about this video or even suggestions for another video or questions in general, just leave them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you guys. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head out of here. And uh, thank you for watching, guys.